So I have a lot of clients who come to me who are super excited about buying a home. And then, you know, we go see some homes and I think maybe just the interest rates kind of kick yeah. in. Like interest rates are so high. So I wanted to go over today what it looks like with you if they were to wait until interest rates drop. Oh yeah. It's, and it makes so much sense, right? It's, it's when people are used to hearing, Hey, rates were in the threes and high twos. And oh my gosh, we've been spoiled for so long. It is so intimidating to look at purchase prices with rates. If we're just talking averages here, it's pretty mind blowing how you can think that, hey, I'm going to wait for rates to drop, right? And it is it is said that rates are going to be going down, but I personally think it's going to take a little bit longer to get there. And so just overall, if we compare the numbers, what are the advantages? Are you going to hold your life up for the next year or two to wait for rates to come down? Or right. is there an actual dollar savings by buying now and then refinancing later when the rates do drop? I think that this is really good. I encourage everybody, run the numbers yourself so that you understand, but you can use this as a model and just keep things simple because it really just comes down to what's going to save you more money, right? So if we take an average 1 million purchase price, and if we say, okay, let's say if you, if you just buy now, because the market is a lot less competitive now, when the rates go down, then everybody's going to be buying, right? right. Exactly. So yeah. So if, if I just used today's average rate that these are computed at, it's, it's averaging um, mid seven. So I just used 7%. That is not what the rate that people are going to get, but this is just an average for this illustration only. So at a 1 million purchase price, just using 20% down, if they bought now, the principal and interest, property taxes, insurance, everything out the door, you're looking at 6,464. So let's say that you get that into that now. And then let's say it takes a year or two for rates to get down. Now, this is where you get a lot of difference of opinions. People have been saying between four to six percent so i'm just using an average i'm not even going at the lowest let's just say if you happen to snag a five percent rate later and refinance so your tax base is the same because you got in now when it's less competitive so overall um your new payment would be about 53.29 so after refinancing you got the house that you wanted you didn't have to overpay without the, the complete competition so you end up with about 53.29 i mean that's great if you can yep. handle the monthly payments you know maybe with a higher interest rate for a couple of months mm -hmm. or even to, and then refinance it, you'll be even happier when you can refinance and have those. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I think that's the important thing too. I'm pretty upfront with our clients is that we want this to be comfortable. I'm not going to get you into something that you're going to be in a bad situation. If, if you don't refi, we're going to get you qualified and it's going to be affordable and it's just going to get better from there when you do refi. So that's really important too. Um, and then let's just say, if you don't buy now, if you're really determined and say, nope, I need to make sure my monthly payment gets as low as possible. I want to wait and refi when it hits that 5%. So now I think with this one, we were using an average 7% equity growth, which in the Bay area, we didn't know that that's insane. I mean, most areas were 25 and 30%, right? So we'll just say averaging 7% equity growth. So by the time that you purchase something at 7%, let's just say in a year or two, you're going to be paying probably, you know, 1.2 for that same $1 million home. Yeah, exactly. So that means, yeah. So that means your tax base is higher. Exactly. So same home, but now you're paying more for it because you have everybody's jumping in. Everybody waited like you did to get in at 5%. Mm -hmm. So now your principal and interest, same 20% down, but now higher purchase price. And now you have higher taxes, same insurance. And now you're paying at 6503. So you're actually paying 1,174 more for the same house, just because you waited for rates to go lower and your rate is lower, but really the differences are you're paying more for the same house because now you're in heavy competition as well as your tax base. So yeah, it's, I think that's mm -hmm. important to let our clients know that we can do this with them on a specific property and let them see what that difference would look like. So that's huge. And I think that it's, it's amazing. Absolutely.